and we will be asking all of our members to heed the advice given and stay home. But we will also be asking employers to ensure that non-essential workers are not compelled to go to work in the period ahead because many workers still feel that they are required to go to work and employers must make it clear that their wages can be drawn down and covered during this period. We also will be calling on government not to abandon the 300,000 plus self-employed workers who are our cleaners, caterers, carers, creative industries workers and construction workers who deserve the same equality as workers who are on the PAYE system and they deserve to have their wages covered throughout this crisis. So this needs to be addressed urgently by government now that government have made the rules that people have to stay home, they have to look after people. And that also brings me to our frontline workers our workers who are going to look after us, so we need to look after them. And that means all of our workers in our health services, all of those workers who are carrying out care duties and essential services who will get us through this crisis, need proper health and safety measures put in place. They need proper equipment and PPE to ensure that they stay protected. And they also need tested as a matter of urgency so that we can keep staffing levels up and no one is unnecessarily taking time out to self-isolate if they don't have the virus, but also so that we can immediately ensure that workers who do contract the virus are properly taken care of and looked after. They're going to look after us and we need to look after them. Thank you. <laughs>